Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we'll look at another small fighter, and this one is called the Lancer Interceptor, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small fighter that features six autocannons, two autocannon turrets, and three railguns. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Lancer Interceptor is 1,191 small blocks, using the Heavy Industry DLC pack. We can see right here is armaments that I just read out, and that is inspired by the Star Wars N1 Starfighter. So give this thing a thumbs up, I'll move all the way around towards the very front here, we'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll fly around for a bit to see what it can do, then probably slam it into an asteroid. And also if you're interested in the skybox I'm currently using, there'll be a link to that just below this ship in the description below. And it's a very nice one, it makes everything very yellow, very bright in space, but it does have a few patches of darkness in case you want that. But anyway, back to the ship at the very front here, this is what we get. So front and centre, what we can see is one or three railguns to blast your enemies. Surrounding all of that, we've got some lovely orange and blue steel blocks, but we can also clearly see on our wings six autocannons, three on both sides, with an also can turret just above it. All the way on the left and right hand side, we've got ourselves two hydrogen thrusters to help us stop and to move forwards. Then being very well protected all the way around by some armoured plates in the blue, and we've got some beam blocks in the lovely orangey colour. If we were to turn our attention all the way to the side of the thing, there is our other railgun. We've got two hydrogen tanks which are a bit exposed, but for a small fighter, it should be generally fine to have it like so, because you're not going to be slowing down enough for a large ship to pummel you, and it should be quick enough to outrun most things. All the way over to here, we've got ourselves a gyroscope just sticking out the back there. And at the back of these thrusters is the same as the front with our steel plates and beam blocks. We have to come across onto the wing, that is what we get. We can see the back of the turret. And just turning around over to this section, there is our fighter cockpit to fly this thing around with two large hydrogen thrusters right below there to keep us off the ground while on the planet. If we were to come all the way over to this section towards the back of the vehicle, we can see a connector underneath another large hydrogen thruster to help us move left and right. And towards the very back of this thing, we've got another hydrogen thruster, which got a little bit of protection from the top there, from this little tail part. We'll have to come all the way up and look down, that's how that's been done. That is a very clear view at the blue and the orange colours. There's the hydrogen thruster on the opposite side, there's the fighter cockpit. And that is what it looks like when looking down at our turrets and hydrogen tanks. Anyway, all the way towards the front, coming down and underneath this thing, that is what that looks like. What's the... Put my light on for just a second, we can see the bottom of our railgun, we can see our auto cannons and how they've been housed up. That is our connector, and there is the back of the ship, and that is that for the outside. So there's a very nice, very simple little ship, and it does look fantastic with how it's all been set up. The colour scheme works very well with this, and it should pack a lot of punch with all the firepower on here. So just grabbing hold of my character, coming over to tab number one. What we'll do is just quickly go through all the controls, fly around for a bit, and maybe a pirate might show up. If not, we're going to slam into an asteroid. Number one is going to be to fire all three railguns all together. There we go. Number two is to switch to our six auto cannons just to fire them all together. Number six is then for our beacon on and off. And then number eight, I'm not too sure what that is, but we'll have a quick look in here at the groups. And I believe that could have been for the hydrogen tanks to stockpile on and off. As for tab number two, three, and four, we've got nothing else, so we'll fly this thing around. Moving forwards, that is what we get, is what you'd expect for a small fighter. It's very, very quick, and coming to a stop does feel a little bit slower, but luckily we do have the gyroscope controls to do a 180 to stop ourselves a lot faster. Moving left, and moving right, that's what we get. A little bit slower than forwards and backwards, but still pretty damn good. Moving down, very slow compared to everything else. Moving up, Feels a lot faster than everything else. If we had to come to a stop and then just wiggle the mouse around, that's what we get for our gyroscope controls. So there's a very tiny bit of weight, you can just about feel it. But the end date is very floaty, very responsive, and what you'd expect from a small fighter. And here we go, we're now approaching the asteroid at full speed. It took quite some time to get over here. No pirates decided to show their faces, so we're just going to have to simply slam into this. And there we go. Not too much damage at the end of the day. It's still perfectly flyable. We still have some form of weapon. I think all the weapons actually survived, apart from one railgun on the side. Oh, there we go. We lost our middle railgun as well. But for everything else, we've still got a functioning ship after a full speed collision, which is always nice. 
As for that, there's not too much else to talk about, it's just a lovely little fighter ship with a great design. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around with it yourself. Highly recommend you do, as well as a link to the skybox I'm currently using. And I'll be back with another video, some point soon. Bye bye.